Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial on the Selix Spy feature. The Spy will allow you to monitor the sales of any product on Amazon. This is especially relevant if you're trying to analyze your competitors' sales to better understand the potential of your own products, or if you're looking to expand your product line. To start off, simply enter and load the product's ASINs, select the variations you'd like to monitor, and add the products to your Spy dashboard. From that moment onwards, the SPY will track their sales on a daily basis and will provide the first sales data after two days. After that, the SPY sortable overview will show you the product sales and revenue, their daily updated sales rank, as well as the number of sellers and variations of the respective product. The sales are summarized for all sellers and variations, but you can also have a glance at the sales of the individual variations down here. At the front, you can check since when the particular product is being monitored. You should always consider this information when selecting your time frame, as the SPY will of course not be able to provide data for time frames in which it was not active. Now let's continue to the details page of one of those products, where we can have a closer look at how these sales came about. At the top, you'll get a quick overview of all relevant KPIs. And below you will find the day-to-day -day sales over time. Additionally, you can have a look at the revenue, the stock level, as well as the product's lowest offered price. Here too, you can of course change the observed time frame. If the monitored product has multiple variations, you can again check the individual sales of each item. This information can potentially save you a lot of money and hassle, especially if you're doing product research and trying to reduce the sourcing and selling to the specific variations that are actually in demand. Now then, we often get asked how the SPY actually determines these sales, and whether we have to hack anything to get them. The answer here is of course no. The sales are simply determined by the changes of the respective product stock that is available on Amazon. For example, this product had 953 units available on July 30, and then only 902 units the day after. The SPY will therefore assume that the difference between the two days, in this case 51 units, were sold on July 30. There you also have the reason for why the SPY needs at least two days in the beginning to determine the first sales. The next question that typically follows is how exact are the SPY's sales? Generally, the SPY's sales data is very exact, especially when there's only one seller and that seller is using FBA as there are far fewer external factors interfering when Amazon is storing the seller's products and fulfilling their orders. There are a few situations though when the SPY's method cannot work properly. For the sake of being able to read the SPY's data correctly, you should therefore especially be aware of the following two scenarios. Number 1. The product stock level is above 999 units. This scenario makes it impossible to determine the real stock levels so that the SPY is not able to register any stock reductions for the offer of that particular seller. In the overview, you will be warned about this accordingly. The second scenario in which the SPY is generally not able to track sales is when the seller sets a maximum of units that can be ordered in one go. In this case, the real stock level can also rarely be determined. An indication for this is when the sales figure is zero, even though the sales rank is relatively good. On the details page, this will become more obvious when you see that the stock level constantly remains the same. Generally, you should always use common sense and inspect the movement of the stock levels on the details page. If you see the stock level decreasing steadily over time, the sales should be very accurate. If, however, you see the stock level drastically changing from one day to another, you should cut those timeframes from your calculations. In order to analyze a product whose sales cannot be tracked in the SPY, we recommend tracking another ASIN from the same niche, which ideally has a similar sales rank. For a quick sales estimate based on the product's current sales rank, you can also enter the ASIN into our niche analyzer. You can find a separate video about the niche analyzer in our knowledge base where you will also find further information on the SPY. I hope this video was helpful and that the SPY can help you find new, highly demanded products to increase your success on Amazon.